Uh, it's another day out and I'm coming to Redwood Park today. The road's a little bit rough here. I've just been over a load of potholes and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. So there should be somewhere down here, car park. There we are, there's cars there. Well, I managed to find a spot. Let's go and find out what the park's like now. As per normal, all the uh, COVID regulations are out in force. I've not been here before, well, not since 1990 I think, round about 1990 would be the last time I was round here. Used to bring my grandkids here. But I don't remember it, such a long time ago. A nice little picnic area there, be nice in summer wouldn't it? Get the barbecues out and get the food on the table. Look at the water sitting here though. And there's kids playgrounds all over here now. It's the last day of 2020, so I'm hoping that tomorrow, 2021, is going to bring a big change in favour for the rest of the world. It's been a pretty bad 2020. Anyway, here I go again, walking through the woods with not the, not the correct foot attire as usual. Just got my shoes on. <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. Beautiful big trees here again, look. That's why it's called Redwood Park. Big giant redwoods here. Lots of play areas and stuff. There's a lookout view point there, I think. We'll see when we get from behind this big tree. Oh, they have quite a big girth and all, aren't they? Oh yeah, it tells a bit of the history here. We'll go and have a read. That history there just explains about how this place was formed. It was owned by twin brothers who came here in the late 1800s and they lived here till 1953 and they brought 32 different species of uh, plants here. Well. I'm going back. Oh, there's an English oak, look. Well, they brought 32 different species of trees here, I should say. And uh, they lived here till about, I think, 1953. And they actually lived in a tree house, which was somewhere near the site of this lookout tower here. Fancy living in a tree house oh, for all those years. Oh, well, they love trees, and uh, that's why they did it. A bit of living proof here that you can't kill nature. Look at that, they chopped down this tree and what's growing? Another tree. Amazing, isn't it? You can even see the growth, ring, growth rings on this, look. Oh no, somebody stuck it in there. <laughs> there we go. That shows, that, that shows my intelligence, doesn't it? Somebody stuck it in there. Well, it could have been growing there. It does have a way of amazing your nature, doesn't it? That amazed me. <laughs> Made me look a fool as well. Oh well. No accounting for taste. Well, it's a very nice park, this. Well, it's unexpected. I didn't think it would be this nice, but it's, it's very nice. I like this rustic fencing they've put up as well, look. Gives it uh, an air of ambiance, shall we say. Don't know where I'm going now though, it looks muddy down here as well. Oh well that's typical for me isn't it? I'm taking the smaller of the paths there. But it looks quite 
easy to negotiate here's an interesting move where do I go? well not down there that's for sure I'll go this way the trees beckon I'm coming up to a, an open area again I think it may even bring me back out where that uh, tree house was I have a feeling yeah I think I'm right <coughs> I think I'm right yeah there's a tree house up there I see it just in there see it not a tree house now of course but it used to be so I'm going to go up through this wet area here squelchy muddy whoops I nearly slipped this tree is a South American monkey puzzle tree which is better obviously observed from a distance but there you go that's the monkey puzzle tree so we'll move on what's this one very interesting little notes of levers it's a Lawson Cypress Oregon tree there's some big redwoods down there and all there's another open area down here looks like another car park over there as well yeah there's the swing area up there where the kids are playing so I'm going to go this way I don't know where it'll take me but that's uh, part of the fun I guess good exercise anyway isn't it oh another party table look oh that's all it is oh no yeah I can go back round but it's only taking me back to where I was so I won't go that way after all there's a nice little drinking fountain there but unfortunately it's locked off because of Covid this facility is closed it's a shame isn't it everything's like this even one for the dogs there look and uh, it was given in memory of Ken Manson who loved this park and the dogs May 2002 nice sculpture actually got a little door at the bottom there as well that's where all the fairies go and live at night okay I'm moving on <laughs> fair enough that comment this is a picture of the twin brothers Peter and David Brown these are the people who lived in the tree house and apparently the father gave them this land on the 21st birthday and what they did, decided to do was build an arboretum so they put all the famous trees from all over the world and there's over 50 different native trees come from all over the world they ordered seeds from China, Chile, Russia, England, Japan and Africa and a lot of South Africa as well so, sorry South, South America as well this is a map of the park there's over 50 different native and exotic species of trees as well as five towering groves for you to discover this is really a tree lover's paradise I think started with the giant sequoia oh, it's got the monkey puzzle tree which we saw there's all sorts of things here from all over the world South America as well this is the dawn redwood tree it's an unusual tree it looks like an evergreen but it's actually a coniferous tree that sheds its needles there's some uh, weird species I used to I used to know about uh, coniferous deciduous trees as well so you it's very hard to classify them but this is one of those unusual ones it looks dead at the moment and it shed all its things apparently it has copper coloured needles as well which are quite unusual be nice to see this in summer I just 
pop back to the observation tower as well and just show you the construction that goes on under here some big sizes of wood there isn't there and it's holding up this structure here so I haven't been down this path so I'm going to take a, a route down here and see what we can find or I should say up here I'm going uphill now turning it into a power walk now all these pine needles on the floor now that's the latest thing now isn't it pine needle tea apparently it's supposed to be good for you but apparently it doesn't taste very nice this looks interesting I don't know what it is but I think I'll take a look there's all sorts of little houses been built I don't know why, but I might find out later. This is just one little area. Look at them, they're all over. Take a look at this little bunch over here. And they've even got them on the floor here. There must be some significance to it all but I don't know what all little houses all the way down must be for the furries and the pixies and that's for the little tiny ones that can't reach up, up to get onto the log to live in these tea time looks like they're having uh, pine needle tea here's some more it's a nice one look looks like a mushroom I did not expect to find this Look at this one, looks like a caravan. Oh, they go all over. Wow. That's been made out of an old mailbox or something, I think, that one. Look at them all. I did not expect to find this here. <laughs> It's amazing what you come across, isn't it? They're called Boussier said, eyes that do not see. You gotta look for them. You gotta look for these things. You gotta spend time going out of your way. Getting out of your car, get walking, get some exercise. I can't get over there, I'm blocked. See, look, there's a block there. I think you get the idea. That's amazing. There's another little clump down there, so I'll, I'll go around this obstacle and I'll pick up further down. That was my obstacle there, so I'm past it now. And I'm working my way down here. See, they're even in the, in the trees here and everything. No idea what they're here for. None whatsoever. There's one that looks like a lighthouse. <laughs> Some very creative... Um, Creative juices flowing here for sure. Look at them all. There was a sign down there and all saying you're not allowed to nail anything to any trees or anything. I don't know how that one's been put on there then. They've been nailed on. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just stuck on with dirt. But they're all the way up there, look. I'd like to know the significance of it all. They're even hanging from the trees, look. See them? Little little things hanging from the trees here. Loads of them all over. Obviously not just for Christmas, it's here for good. Well, that was interesting, for sure. Just working my way back to the path now. 
Oh, there's a nice one. Look at the size of that one. It's a good one. Well, I'm gonna go past the holly there. Oh, I think we saw that one when we came in, didn't we? The mushroom one. This is a little group of visitors that are welcoming you to this feast of little bird houses or whatever they are. I'm working my way down to another open area down here. So I don't know if that's a playing field or a picnic area or what. We'll see when we get there. And this is the open area. It brings me back to the kids' playground. So they're enjoying themselves down there. I'm going to make my way back to the car now. I think I've done most of what I can do here. I think I've been on all the paths. It was quite interesting actually. I quite enjoyed that myself. See what I've done again. Covered my brand new spanking shoes with mud. So we're going to have to be clean now. At least I'm walking through a bit of water here. Well, that concludes this little visit. I hope you enjoyed the little jaunt. I'm going to make my way back home now because in the not too distant future I'm going to be holding a Zoom meeting for my family and we're going to celebrate New Year. So we're on New Year's Eve and uh, at four o'clock we're going to bring in New Year in the UK and then we will carry on here as per normal at 12 o'clock. So thanks for watching again. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.